After you did, in fact, contact the Bureau, the FBI, uh, what did they do in response, sir? Well, first, my father reached out to the FBI in October, and they basically told him to get out. Objection. It's not responsive to the question, Your Honor. Judge, a little we're, latitude. We're here for yeah. semi-probable cause in one sense, so that'll be permitted. Judge Joe Brown, and what is being permitted and promoted on Fox News is a mock trial of Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden. And never mind Judge Joe, who has long had a television series where he plays a judge. This hearing actually features real lawyers, including one Doug Burns, who's a friend of mine I've had on lots of channels. Hey, Doug, looking good there. Glad you got some work. In any case, what everybody seems to be trying to do here uh, is to somehow review whether Hunter Biden used his father's political power, political standing, to corruptly influence foreign business deals and whether any laws are broken. There's an examination of Hunter Biden's laptop. There is a review of emails. Here is Judge Joe describing this whole thing on Fox News. It was kind of a weird mock trial. The way we configured it actually was a mock proceeding to determine if there was probable cause to believe that further investigation should occur and some of the things that are on that laptop are really disturbing so it looks like the public needs to encourage its system to get into this so there you have it it's a trial to determine whether there should be any further investigation into hunter biden and these various foreign business deals and yet even before anybody any of the viewers have seen the arguments heard judge joe looked at the evidence listened to these fantastic lawyers deliver their arguments judge joe's already made up his mind yes he's already made a conclusion about what the answer is to further investigation i suppose that's the world of right-wing judicial hearings in their fantasy world and that is well you have a judge who predetermines what the answer is even before the rest of us have had opportunity to actually see the proceeding we don't want mob justice but sometimes the collective needs to bring pressure to at least look at things because from what we were looking at on that laptop uh, something's way wrong here Way wrong. Way wrong. Well, this fantasy hearing is going to be somewhat news to the reality of the Department of Justice, which has been investigating Hunter Biden for years. And according to a recent Washington Post report, the Department of Justice has concluded uh, that there should possibly be an indictment against Hunter Biden, uh, but not for all the things that the right wing figures have been screaming about for years. Not for corrupt business deals, not for breaking international finance laws or corrupt political power. Uh, what the Washington Post reports the Department of Justice has found is that Hunter Biden lied on a gun permit application. Apparently he didn't acknowledge his drug use at the time that he filled out his application, so that's, that's a problem. And that Hunter Biden apparently didn't declare all of the taxable income to the IRS, so perhaps there's a tax charge there. But again, there's no corrupt influence. There's no corrupt foreign government influence. There are no corrupt business deals. Uh, nothing like what the right wing has been talking about. In fact, there's even been some folks in Fox News who have described if in fact this is what the Department of Justice has found, this is a big nothing burger. But maybe that's why Fox News has this mock hearing because it knows that perhaps the Department of Justice is gonna come up short of where the right wing wants. So there's Fox News to provide a judicial hearing of their own that can somehow satisfy the right wing, which believes that there should be further investigation of Hunter Biden, despite all the investigation, the real investigation that's been done for a couple of years. Um, remarkable stuff. It would be funny if it wasn't so sad. I just hope, Doug, I hope they are paying you well. You certainly deserve all the money you can get out of this. At least the lawyers maybe are making some money from this thing. In any case, I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.